Well, we just recently got some good, although very unexpected news that Mojang is once again working on bundles to, like, release them for real this time. Yes, you heard me correctly there, the item that has been sitting just on the backlog for many, many years at this point. We might be seeing it sometime soon. But is the bundle the entire solution to the inventory problem? Let's get into that in this video. Everyone, I am honestly still having a hard time believing it. This announcement came basically out of nowhere from Mojang in a Minecraft Monthly that they are working on the bundle again and are soon to release it in previews and snapshots. However, there is a little but here, and that's that Mojang is taking a deserved break for the summer, so we won't be seeing this probably for at least another few weeks. So, all things considered, it was a bit of a weird time for them to make this announcement right before they're going on break. But I really can't complain since they are at least communicating about this item now, because really for these past years all we've been going off of are just leaks and changes in the files, with Mojang basically not mentioning the bundle at all, just kind of occasionally working on it in the background. But I though cannot say this with absolute certainty, what seems to be the case is that the bundle will be releasing not in 1.22, but before that as a smaller update, like we saw with getting the Armadillo new wolf variants in the minor update. It seems like the same might be happening with the bundle here, since Mojang is already working on it, and it Seems near completion, though we have yet to actually see the latest version in snapshots and previews. Now, as of to why Mojang is suddenly focusing on the bundle, one, I think we can all agree it is kind of long overdue. Inventory management has just gotten more and more difficult with each update, and with something like Tricky Trials, it was especially needed, because when you go to the trial chambers, you are going to run out of inventory space very quickly, looting those things, trust me. And who knows, maybe this could have some implications for 1.22, that this could be an item-heavy update or something. Of course, many still speculate it to be an end update. But now, with that out of the way, I want to talk about whether or not bundles are a total fix for the inventory problem. The short answer is, uh, sadly, no, not quite. But I'm going to talk a bit more about what could be fuller solutions to the problem. That being said, the bundle is definitely a more long-term solution than just something like expanding the number of inventory slots. However, even still, there are just a lot of things that bundles can't carry as of the current versions, so they really aren't a perfect fix, and some of those things certainly make sense, like armor and tools and all that stuff. But because they are so limited in what items they can actually store, they aren't a perfect fix for the issue. The developers have sort of talked about this in the past. It's a difficult issue to really solve. I mean, shulker boxes allow you to carry a ton of stuff, but you don't get them until the supposed end of the game. And also, they are quite inconvenient to use and access. You have to take them out, open them up, take out whatever you were going to take out, break them, and put them back in your inventory again. And, of course, something that's very important when it comes to inventory is convenience. 
the older versions of the bundle were quite inconvenient to use, having to take all of the items out to get the first one that you put in. Hopefully that will be fixed in the final release version, but we don't know for sure as of right now. But judging from the footage shown and actually being able to go into and see the inventory in a bundle, it looks like that will be fixed. Although, you still have what I like to call the wandering inventory issue, and it is so annoying. You you walk around and you pick up a bunch of things that you just don't want. Rotten flesh, all kinds of mob drops, seeds, flowers, you know what I mean. As someone who builds a lot in survival mode, it's been quite a pain to me. And right off the bat, there is one potential and quite obvious fix to this, and that is to make it so you have to press a button to pick up an item. I mean, just about every single video game out there does this, and it makes sense that you don't have your inventory filling up with all this random stuff you walk across that you just don't want. That way, you look at what you're seeing on the ground, you can see maybe the name of it, then you can decide whether or not you want to pick it up. It makes sense. There's not really any wrong or harm that could come from having something like this in the game. This on its own could help quite a bit to solve the clutter issue of the inventory. Now, the thing is, is that I don't know how the community would take to this. That's probably why Mojang hasn't implemented anything like it. I'm sure they've probably thought of it at some point, but there is a fair number of people in the Minecraft community who just don't like change. Change to pre-existing things, that is. That, and for another possibility, Mojang could implement some kind of progression-related inventory system. As in, as you progress and can find more items, your inventory grows and you become capable of holding more items. And that could be through buying upgrades to your inventory. Maybe you buy new slots with iron at first, then it changes to gold, then diamond, then netherite, and they just continually get more expensive. That's another thing that's typically done in a lot of video games. Or maybe there could just be some upgraded version of the bundle that requires more materials to craft or is rarer to get and more difficult to get. And then maybe there could be different tiers. And that segues well into the last thing that I want to talk about here. And that is kind of the last big unknown with the bundle at this point, and that is how it's going to be obtained. The most likely thing is that it will just be crafted with some leather and string or something, but what Mojang could do instead is make it obtained as loot only, make it something that you have to travel to get to once again give players more reason to explore. Maybe make it exclusive to a specific structure like Woodland Mansions that really need something unique to them other than an armor trim. Or maybe give a better version to the ominous vaults in the trial chambers. Give that something more to it since that is, you know, the major update that we just had. Maybe Mojang would want to improve on that a bit more. There's a number of ways that they could go about it, but that concludes the point of this video. Thank you for watching up until this point if you're still here, and as always, I hope to see you in the next one. 
But for now, goodbye.